There's been a travel security scare during one of the busiest travel weeks of the year. Several men are now under arrest. They're accused of smuggling guns, some of them loaded, and they got them on the airline flights. Ryan Nobles explains how they were able to do that in getting past security. Airport security is already a tedious process. Now there are concerns that all that hassle still has dangerous flaws. And that's not something that you, you want to hear going on, especially with the, with the current trend of everything that's, that's going on around the, around the globe. Two men are accused of conspiring to smuggle as many as 153 guns and ammunition onto nearly 20 flights that took off at Atlanta's Hartsfield-Jackson International Airport and landed at JFK in New York. I mean, it really makes you wonder, uh, you know, how, how safe it is to travel. Eugene Harvey allegedly used his security clearance as a ramp agent for Delta to bypass security to get the guns to a former Delta employee, Mark Quinton Henry, in a restroom, who then carried them on board to New York. Harvey was arrested on Saturday. Henry was arrested on December 10th after landing at JFK. He had 18 guns in his carry-on bag. Seven of them were loaded. Both are being represented by the Federal Public Defender's Office, which has not commented. The Brooklyn DA said the investigation was part of a larger effort to get illegal guns off the streets. We were determined to get to the source of these guns, and our investigation let us down to the state of Georgia. Authorities assured travelers that despite the headlines, air travel remains very safe. In Washington, I'm Ryan Nobles reporting.